Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to the long-awaited studio tour. So this video was supposed to be up quite a while ago. Honestly, I've had just an array of problems with equipment and filming this because this place gets really, really hot and essentially all of my equipment actually cuts out while I'm filming. So today I'm filming on a new camera. Hopefully I can keep it steady, but I'm going to waste no time and I'm going to show you around the studio and just give you a little update on all of the plants here. And if you hear any beeping, that's clearly a truck reversing outside. Not ideal, but I think we'll be fine. So I'm going to start with this left-hand shelf. I'm then going to move around the room this way. I'm going to cover these plants here. I do have one down here. And then if I swing right round, I have some plants here, 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 of course, on the table there. And if we have time, I will do the plants along the top, but I probably won't be getting them down because I have to hold this in my hand and it's probably not the easiest thing in the world. So without further ado, let's get going. Right, I'm going to start on the top of the shelf and work my way downwards, but I'm not going to pull any of these down because honestly, it's way too difficult. So on this side here, this first plant you'll see here, believe it or not, is Anthurium forgetii. And I don't know what's going on with it because it just looks like it's, it's lobes are deciding that they need to exist when they shouldn't. I don't know if you know, but forgetty eye should be round at the top there. They shouldn't have a heart shape to them. And I don't really understand what's going on. You can see the leaves there, the older leaves, they aren't doing that. So I'm a little bit confused as to why that's the case, to be honest. A bit, a bit strange. Um, up here next to that, we have the wonderful Anthurium Magnificum Verde. So it's basically a Magnificum, but the veins are not pronounced. I will try and show you. I just hold that above there at the back. You can kind of see it. It is very, very difficult to show you these things, to be quite honest. It's not the best with this camera. It's doing really well, though. It's actually huge. It's got flower on. Everything's looking really, really beautiful. It's got a few leaves, actually. It's doing, it's doing really good. I'm quite happy with that one. Um, I'll kind of go over this one very quickly. This is my Philodendron Spiritus Sancti, just chilling. Um, well, it's some of it. It's not technically the full plant. And it's starting to size up real good. If you can see that leaf there, it's getting there now, which is great. So I'm really happy with that. That lives up here in a self-watering pot and it just chills. Next to that, I have Anthurium vichii, which honestly, I got this as a little bit of a runt, if I'm totally honest. And it's growing okay. There's a new leaf here. See if I can zoom in without anything going wrong. There's a new leaf there that's on its way out. It's looking okay. It's, it's not really sizing up though. I don't think it's the happiest Anthurium in the world, but it's doing all right. Moving on to the rest of this shelf now. I'll stand back very briefly because you can see I've got a few things going on. Uh, this plant down at the bottom, by the way, is supposed to be in that little cubby hole at the bottom, but it's outgrown it and I haven't had time to do anything about it yet. So that's why that's there. Let's start with this guy because this guy is absolutely beautiful. This, believe it or not, is my Anthurium Waraquinum, my Queen Anthurium. And a lot of people tell me that it isn't because of these lobes here. And I agree that that's very odd, but I promise you, this is a new leaf, by the way, that's why it's super, super soft. I promise you this is a Queen Anthurium. If I just zoom out on it, you will see how gorgeous that that actually is. Look at that. Now it is the same plant as this plant right here. This is my other really beautiful Queen Anthurium. If you look at that, that is gorgeous. Now this one looks very full. Um, that's not me doing anything specific. That's actually because if you look here, there's kind of two of them growing together. Can you see that? Let me try and move that there. You can see that two of those are growing together and, and that's why. Whereas this one, this one here only has the one, but it's already wanting to climb. So I'm a bit like, hmm, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> But that's her anyway. It's really, really pretty. Look at that one. I often ask people in my comment section which one they prefer, because for me, it is this one because it's a little bit special. I prefer this one on the left to this one on the right, just because it is very unusual. When I first plucked this out of the shop, I noticed that the lobes were far apart, but I thought it might have been a one-off. Um, so I wanted to basically grow it out and see if the leaves persisted, but check it out, they have. So that there are the two different Queen Anthuriums, but I, I assure you they are both Queen Anthurium. So next to that, this isn't looking as bright as what it did. This is, what is this? It's a Marble Queen Pothos, so it's Epipremnum, I don't know what it is, Epipremnum something Marble Queen. It's very cute. I bought it as just a, a nice filler plant for the shelf. I kind of liked it. I like common plants as well. I just tend not to get my hands on them because I don't go to garden centers very much. 
Um, it's kind of rare that I do, but it's really nice. And I've actually cut this a few times. This has grown several times and I've cut it. You can see a little cut there where it's starting to come back because I keep cutting bits off it and essentially putting it on the wall, on the living wall. So I keep fleshing it out with that and it's done really well. So if it looks not so long, it's because I constantly chop at it. It's, it's getting a bit ridiculous, actually. I don't know where this is going to go. Maybe I can feed it out that way. That's a little bit better, isn't it? So that's that on that shelf. Now, if I move just behind here, you will see a poor, honestly, it's contorted now, and it's probably because of this leaf here, but this is a Syngonium elbow, as it's known, variegated Syngonium. And I think there is two in this pot as well. Yeah, you can kind of see that there. They're, they've got a lot of lean on. Obviously, there's only light coming from this side, but I'm honestly, I, I'm not too bothered about it. I'm just going to keep it as it is. It, do, it doesn't really bother me. So that's just chilling there. Next to that, we have a plant that I do genuinely need to cut. This is, what is this? Syngonium Pink Splash. I'm terrible with my names this morning. I've just woke up. So this is Syngonium Pink Splash and it does need cut. And I think this long vine here, I'm going to basically lob it off and propagate it downstairs for the shop because I don't really need to grow it up and out. I'd rather just propagate it and sell it on because I'm quite happy with my little bush. I kind of like that. So that's what I'll be doing with that when I get the chance because I haven't had the chance yet. Next to that is one of my favorites. I will kneel down. This beautiful thing here is a lemon lime maranta and it's very beautiful. The coloring is not as I would like, but we're getting there. I think I think I need to do some stuff. Is it needing water? Yeah, it is. Okay. So this needs some water. They have been flowering, actually. I do have another one to show you in a minute that has been flowering. They're happy enough, I think. It's just that the coloring could look a lot better. The coloring could look a little bit more like EG, that one there. Um, I will I will sort that. I'm working on it. Um, underneath that, we have the bottom shelf. Now, this has taken a bit of a hit, and I'm not sure if it's underwatering or... I mean, it could have been burnt from the sun. I'm not really sure, if I'm honest. But I've left it on to show you anyway. This is basically yellow variegated Syngonium. And when the leaves come through first, they come through this lime green color, and then they will harden up to this yellow color. It's all the same plant. Well, there's two in there, but you, you feel me. So that one's not looking brilliant, but I suspect it's been burnt because it's only the large sectoral chunks. So I'll keep my eye on that and see what happens, but I don't know when that's happened, to be honest. Right, this, this is a thing. Are you ready for this? This is a thing. Can you just see what is occurring over there? I've moved this plant several times and it wants to grow so badly. It's just, it's growing aerials. Literally, I'm not kidding. It's growing aerials all the way along the floor. It's desperate, desperate to grow. So this here is Philodendron Golden Dragon Narrow Form. It's a really beautiful plant and I do recommend them. I find them extremely easy and extremely tolerant, as you can probably tell. It's in a tiny pot and it doesn't get watered enough. Um, and it, it's looking beautiful and firm and plump and, and all those things. This is what the leaves look like. Sorry, I, there is some drippage this morning off the anthurium up there. So it's a little bit wet. But this is what the leaves look like. They're very, very pretty. They're one of my favorite plants. I like Golden Dragon anyway, but the narrow form... The narrow form just hits different. It's it's pretty nice. But yeah, I need to, I seriously need to do something about this. I need to um, put it on a pole or put it on the wall or propagate it or do something because this is going to be a part of the actual studio soon if it keeps on doing basically what it's doing there. So we need to keep an eye on that. I feel like I need to do something about that very soon. So next to that, we have honestly one of the most gorgeous plants ever. This is... Monstera deliciosa aurea large form. So this is a yellow variegated monstera, but this is the form of monstera that gets those really big holes and really big splits. So it's the monstera where the leaves can grow so big that they're like two foot across. It's it's really quite a special plant. Um, you can kind of see that that's the monstera it is by how quickly it's sized up. If I show you the bottom leaves, you can really tell that it's starred from nothing and it's just sized up really quickly. Like it's just getting bigger. Um, but look how beautiful it is, by the way. We'll just get a nice shot of that. How pretty is that? It's such a beautiful plant. The variegation, I need, I need to tell you how good it is. Um, it's really nice. It's not pregunte with a new leaf yet, but I want to show you it because it's doing so beautifully. It's absolutely stunning. It's honestly one of my favorite plants. I can't wait for it to get so big that it intimidates me and charges me rent. I'm so excited. 
So, behind that, I can't remember the name of this, and it looks a bit odd because I've had to basically turn it around because it was leaning. So if it looks a bit crap, that's honestly why all of the foliage is still kind of leaning that way. It needs some time to turn back around. But it's some kind of grass. It's not a palm, but people call it a palm. I will find out the name and, and put it on the screen for you. I can't remember what it is, but it's, it's quite special because the fans are very beautiful. If I show you that, you get these gorgeous, like sectoral fans. It's just such a nice plant. I realize I'm not showing it in its glory. It's had some underwatering, if you can't already tell, hence we've got some issues down here, but it'll be all right. It just needs a water. You can see there it's run out at the bottom. It's in a self-watering pot, as are a lot of these plants. Well, all of these plants actually, apart from the Hoya. It's a nice plant. It's just not looking its, its best as today, really. It's looking a bit weird, but I put the Monstera under there just so it gets a bit of shade and it's it's happy and it's not getting burnt. Because obviously, as you can see, it has previously been burnt. So I'm keeping an eye on it anyway. And I have blinds over here that are <laughs> kind of straight across so the sun shouldn't be able to directly get at the plant. It should be fine. So I'll now move back a little bit and show you what this shelf here looks like. We have two plants up top and then some stuff on each shelf. And the bottom shelf is a little bit of a mess. So let's start with this boy. This is this is no joke. This is my gorgeous Anthurium crystallinum and he is big. I don't know if you can see how big he is. If I hold one of his leaves, you should be able to see. If I get my hand at the bottom there, you get the idea. He's, he's quite large. See, he's a beautiful, beautiful big plant. He's got lots of leaves and he's flowering like a bitch. I absolutely love him. He's beautiful. That's the temperature in here, by the way. It's nice and cool this morning, hence I'm having a great time filming. Normally, by the way, this goes up to about 30 degrees. No problem. Um, clearly, we're very humid, though. Right, next to that, I'll just turn him a little bit. Next to that, we have this plant here, and I can't remember what he is. He was supposed to be Anthurium chamberlanii, but I don't think he is. I think it's a wrong ID. So basically, it's a dark brown reasonably glossy anthurium. I, I can't really tell you anything else because I don't really know what he is, but he's very nice and he's just he's just kind of chilling up there. He's got some deformed leaves, but I'll be honest with you, I haven't put in any time to essentially work out why. So he's chilling up there. Up here we have another plant that I've had to cut profusely because it's very aggressive. Is it rooting to the back wall again? Oh my goodness me, is it stuck? No, not yet, it's not stuck yet. Let's move this because no, basically. Um, yeah, I've had to pull it off this glass many times and basically cut it and stick it on the wall, which is why here you see before you loads of cuts. So this is an enjoy poppers, Epipremnum enjoy, I think it is. Um, it has leaves like this. Mo most of you may or may not have heard of them. It's a very common plant. It's just less common in the UK, I think. It's getting there now, though. Um, really, really pretty plant. And as I say, I've been chopping it to essentially put on the living wall so I can fill it in with something nice and cheap variegation because I've thrown enough variegation at that wall. So next to that we have a reasonable amount of philodendron uh, cream splash I think it's known as and all the leaves are different. I've got more than one of these and oh, that's not done too well at the back has it? I have more than one of these. Um, I have a lot of these actually. I'm just trying to grow them out. I have one outside the studio in a cabinet and it's grown quite well. But just to show you the full range of leaves on these things, they aren't super guaranteed to always be creamy from what I've seen. It kind of comes and goes. Um, and I think this is probably a really good thing to show you guys if you are looking for a cream splash. I'm not so sure that they stay, you know, as creamy all over the plant as people might want you to think. Um, and it's not just this plant. I, I have others and they do do this. Now, you could argue it's light a little bit. I don't know. But... I would say this one gets quite a lot of light. I mean, it certainly looks light on the camera. But anyway, this is obviously quite a few strands of cream splash. And they do look very beautiful. And I am kind of growing them out, but that really needs repotted. The other cream splash I have is in one of these pots here. It's in a much bigger pot. It's just this one's all small. Right, next to that. Oh my gosh, I think I know what this is. This here, I'm going to rotate it because it's going to be too hard to show you otherwise. This here is a, it's a special form of Anthurium regal, believe it or not. It's just from, I can't remember where it's from, but it's a different form. Might be Peruvian form, I'm not sure. Um, it's really, really beautiful. You just probably wouldn't be able to say it was regal, but I promise you it is. It's not sizing up. 
And I don't know if that's a feed thing or a light thing because I'm not in here much at the moment because it's usually too hot to be in here. So I'm essentially in here to feed the plants and then I leave. <laughs> so I'm not really in here. So I'm not really sure what this plant's beef is. Um, obviously growing a little something, something out of it. So I'll keep an eye on that. But that is Anthurium regal. It just, it's just not what you'd expect from it. It is super dark though. I don't know if that's obvious on camera. I'll show you that against the regular green. That's a dark plant. It's not as dark as that plant, but it's a dark plant. <laughs> so speaking of, underneath here, I have a combo of, what are they? Alocasia black velvet and Alocasia silver dragon. And if you see anything reflected on there, it's water. There's no pests on there. So essentially I did a repot with me recently where I grouped these plants together to save on space. So you have this one here and that one there. And if I lift it up, you can kind of see, I hope the camera focuses. It's a new camera, so sorry if there's focusing issues. Um, I hope you can see that there. They are combined and I thought I'd do it to save space. So this leaf was already doing that in the repot with me video and I just left it on because clearly it's got a lot more life in it yet. It's fine. But all the new ones that have come out, they're pretty sexy. I'll show you this up close because honestly, I like to think that this plant looks like tire treads all the time. Whenever I see it, I think of tires because look at that there. Does that not look like a tire tread to you? It's quite nice. I like it. If you're into things like that and you're into cool textures, this is definitely the plant for you. Similarly, I'll do it on this leaf because I think that leaf's too difficult to show you in the light. This is Alocasia Silver Dragon and as you can see, beautiful, beautiful texture as well. Not quite as cool as this one for me. I'm not going to lie. That's very beautiful, but it is very nice. And I keep them comboed um, just to grow them together, basically. And I have new leaves on both. Whoop. So that's a really, really cute little combo that I've got. Obviously, it'll look better over time when these things get a bit bigger, but it still looks cute. We like it. Uh, I don't know what was here. There might have been nothing here. I don't typically put things in the middle of the shelf. I think there's just this plant that it is. So we will move on to this guy, who is also Anthurium forgetii. And I can prove that straight away by showing you the old leaf here. This is like a dark form forgetii. Um, so he's fine. But again, we're starting to get a bit of a situation. Now, I don't think they do this mature. I've got big forgetii downstairs um, with white veins and they don't do this. But it's like anything that grows in my studio, for whatever reason, starts to develop wide lobes. And I, I don't actually know what that is. Obviously, that would mean it's environmental, right? I mean, this new leaf here, if I can get my hand around. Uh, will you focus on it, please? Or are we just not going to we're not gonna do it? Are we going to do it? Nope, we do not want to do it there. Um, yeah, it's not keeping focus. Um, yeah, it's a bit odd that. I don't really know why it's doing it, but look at this. We're going to focus on this now. Yes. Um, I don't know. I don't think there should be lobes. There is lobes. Tell me what you think in the comments. Not sure. I'm just growing it out to see. Probably needs a repot soon, actually. Oh, it's popping as well, which is nice. It's giving me a nice new little one here. I'll show you there. Sorry, my camera's just done focusing right now. <laughs> there we go. A little pop. Very, very cute. We've done that plant. We've done that plant. I'm going to move down here. I'm going to kneel down a little bit. So this beautiful boy is my Miranda Silver Band, and he's quite big and quite pretty. I'm trying to show you close up if I just move a leaf to the forefront there. He's looking very beautiful, and that's what a silver band looks like. There's a nicer one here, actually. There. That's a Miranda where you get, literally, a silver band up the middle of the leaf. That's what it looks like. Sorry, I'm having a bit of a trouble here. There. Beautiful, beautiful plant. Quite rare, quite honestly. Um, I don't know if they're rare in the US or the UK or whatever, but they are quite rare. Um, it's not growing the best. I'm, I'm having some issues, um, but we'll see. I've just repotted it, so I want to leave it a little bit before I start feeding it and stuff like that. But it's flowering, look. Is it going to focus on these flowers? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it's given off a bit of a flower, so that's really cute. One of my favorites. I just love Maranta. Like, I love aroids and stuff like that. But I also have a massive thing for Maranta, and I can't help myself. I really can't. Look at that. Oh, there's dead flowers on the leaf there. It's just a beautiful plant. Beautiful, beautiful plant. I will propagate it as soon as it's, you know, it's okay in this pot and it starts growing a little bit better. I'm going to start propagating for the shop, I think, because it's about time. Because I don't know if you remember, I think the first time I showed anyone this, it was only a few leaves and now it's ridiculous. So I'm going to cut it at some point because right here, if I cut this here, it's like a whole plant. So I'll be doing that because it's my favorite. I love it. So next to that, this is a little bit ridiculous. This is Philodendron Burley Marks, and I promise you, you're not prepared. Look at the state of this. If I just spin it, look at the state of it. It's ridiculous. 
It's absolutely ridiculous. That's him. There's not a lot to say other than it's just, it's a little bit ridiculous. It's mainly reverted. I didn't really bring it up here to keep it variegated and nice. I've just literally just let it do what it's going to do. So most of the leaves are actually um, green. And obviously there is a lot going on in there. This isn't like one stem. But Burley Marks do this. And I do recommend them for beginners in terms of learning to keep variegation, learning to propagate, learning to look after a plant that isn't as common. This is like really good recommendation, by the way, if you want to try something like that. Absolutely love it. So down here, I'm not going to waste much time. I have two plants. This one here is a young silver band. And honestly, I got it from like a tiny stump. So it, it is literally, it is tiny. That's why it looks like that. But here's proof it's a silver band right there. And this one, I think this one here might be a silver band. I'm not sure yet. I don't see any markings. But I know this one here, I can tell, is a Maranta no ID. And that it's just not grown well. I think they need repotted and sorted out. It's, it's not happening, is it really? I mean, they're nowhere near deaf, but they're not looking great. So I'll have to sort those. Right, moving on. Uh, what can we do? Let's do this one here. I'm now going to move away from the shelves. Let's do this plant here. This is, I don't know why it's got this big. It's ridiculous how big it's got. But this here is Syngonium strawberry ice. So they look like this. Uh, not my favorite plant at all. I actually think it's extremely ugly. And that's how big this leaf is, by the way, next to my thumb. It's a huge leaf. But that's what they look like. They have this kind of like burgundy-esque appearance and then you get pink variegation on them. I'll show you the stem. It's just, it's a bit silly, isn't it? it? It doesn't need to be that big. It really doesn't. Especially when I don't even like the plant. <laughs> but that's him there. I'll not waste any time on him. I'll go straight over to this boy because this boy's great. And he's, he's given us a really good show. This is Philodendron Linamii. And look how the new leaves come in. It's like the most beautiful cherry color. They turn into burgundy on the front and then they go green, but they come in super, super red. And I think right now is a great example of how they essentially rock up. So that's him. He's super big right here. Nice big boy. He's, he's turning this way. Um, I think I've just done it so that the new leaf comes in right because he's, he's a crawler. This is how he grows. This is the front of the plant. So he grows this way, but yeah, that's him there. I don't know what happened to this leaf. I think it maybe was overfed or I'm not really sure to be honest, but he's doing fine. He's very healthy. He's all good. Now this guy here, he was actually living right here where that door is. Um, but on a nighttime, I was leaving this door open and all the lights from the shop were coming in. And what's happened is, although he was growing towards the window, which is here, he started creeping in, look, Literally, he started creeping in through the doorway to get to more light at night time because he's obviously decided, you know, I haven't had enough. So this is what I'm left with. It's actually quite freaky. These beautiful aerials here feel really soft and velvety. Obviously, because it is so humid in here, aerial roots are just not an issue for me. So this is what it's done on the pole. Uh, sorry, I haven't even told you what this is. How rude. This is Philodendron Glorious. But here he is. This is a hybrid between Philodendron gloriosum and Philodendron melanochrysum. So it does climb. So that's what they look like. It's sizing up really nicely, actually. But this is kind of insane. So I moved it here, essentially, to see if I can grow it back towards the window. See if I can just pull this plant back and keep this shut. Um, it hasn't really <laughs> worked as of yet. So if it doesn't work... I might just have to chop it and let it grow out again. But it's a shame because it's been sizing up, look, if you look at that. It's just got to this stage, which is great. And it's got more pole to go. So I'm a little bit upset about that, but I should have really been on it more and, and noticed it. But there it is. It's a gorgeous plant and I can't recommend them enough. They're absolutely beautiful. If you like melanochrysum, you like gloriosum, and you want a climbing plant, this is the plant for you. They're pricey, but I promise you they are worth it. Right, so this corner is a little bit depressing. Here we have a variegated Strelitzia. I'll tell you why it's depressing in a second, don't worry. Um, it's not grown too fast, actually. It's slowed right down. I don't know why. So that's him there in the pot. He's growing a new leaf. Down here, this is slightly depressing because this is a variegated peace lily. It's just not doing so well on the variegation front. We've, we've lost a lot of it. I haven't done anything about it. Um, it does have pops around the base. If you can see there, but I haven't done anything. I was just hoping they might grow faster, but they haven't. Um, so cute plant, but it's essentially just becoming a peace lily. But I'm not mad. Do you know what I mean? These things happen, but we'll see how it goes. So the depressing thing, guys, I've got to tell you, is this here. Um, 
take a deep breath. If you watch my channel, you'll be sad about this, I think. That's where the variegated banana used to be. Uh, it rotted, essentially. I don't know how, I don't know when. I, I think it dried out and it missed a watering. And by the time it was watered again, it was so badly gone that the, basically it got watered and it, it, it turned into rot. So I've lost the variegated banana, which is so sad. And in the future, I will be looking to get another one. Um, I'm not in a rush to get another one. I'll just, you know, I'll get one if I see one. But it, that's kind of sad because I, I think we all kind of loved it, to be honest. It's not necessarily the star of the show, but I think we all, we all like that. So it's a bit of a shame. Anyway, that here... If I move two seconds out the way of a certain plant below me, that here is this side of the room that we've just covered. I haven't covered the Hoyer. I might do that in a separate video, actually, because I just think it's going to be difficult. Except look at this, by the way. This is Hoyer. I think it's Dekii. How nice is that? Hell to the yes. Beautiful. So pleased I've been able to witness that. I've missed this bloom every single time. But anyway, I'll do the Hoyer in a separate video. Just leave me a comment just because it's going to take too long to get all of these down and show you, especially when I have other Hoyer as well. So drop me a comment if you want a Hoyer tour and I'll, I'll make sure that I do that. So this guy here, if you couldn't already tell, is my philodendron UPI and he's huge and I got him from Florida and I love him to death. He has been cut. That's why he's got smaller growth and then he's started to, you know, size up again. Um, if I show you this, can you see where the cut is? We're just there. Yeah, you can. Sorry if it's not focusing. I think it is. Um, yeah, he's being cut to propagate from, but then now he grows up here because honestly, he's so big. I don't know if you could tell. Here's my foot. Sorry, I've got riding gear on at the minute. Um, there's my foot. That's how big he is. He's huge. He's absolutely huge. Um, he just lives there and chills. Look at him. Look at the size of him. He's beautiful. Um, I have a few more of these, obviously. I just, I don't tend to cut from this guy. I think it was more, uh, you know, I didn't have many mother plants at the time and I kind of, I cut them for insurance reasons, really, just in case anything happened to this guy when he was repotted and brought up here or, or what have you. But he's done great. Can't really, can't argue with him. Is that a root, please? How very dare you? Yeah, it's a root. Oh, God. It's so um, aggressive, I would say, when it grows. It's a bit ridiculous. Look at this. Look at my feet. My God. Yeah, it's a bit aggressive, that one. Uh, oh, since I've kind of locked on to I'll show you this guy. This is stunning, stunning plant. This is Anthurium luxuriens, and honestly, he's gorgeous. Look at his little petiole insertion there. And look at the texture of him. This is no joke, guys. Really beautiful plant. If you want to know what they're like, they're very fleshy. It's a very thick, fleshy anthurium. It's quite rigid in appearance. You can't bend the leaf at all. It's not one of those anthuriums, like a velvet type, where you can kind of bend the leaf. Um, if I were to bend that, I would I would break it, essentially. They're really, really meaty. And if I turn it round, there is an old nasty leaf on there. If I turn it round, you'll see the awesomeness that is this petiole here. They just look really odd look. I'm kind of obsessed with that. It's beautiful. Um, full transparency, this is the other leaf. I don't really know what happened. It's just taken a bit of a dive, but the new one's been out for, I don't know, three weeks plus and it's fine. So I'm not sure what happened here. It's probably the same thing that happened to the Linamii that I showed you earlier on. Maybe I overfed it. I'm not really sure, but there's a couple of plants have taken a bit of a crispy hit. So maybe it's that, um, but it's beautiful though. And if you want one of these, I could not recommend them more. Look at this, seriously. That's like a thumbnail right there. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Look at him. Beautiful, beautiful plant. Um, don't mind all the crap that's underneath my table. Um, this is quite dirty because I have like a, not a leak, but just a place where condensation drips from upstairs and it's constantly dripping on the table. Kind of, it's kind of a nightmare a little bit. Right, round here, we have two plants on the floor. And this guy, this guy's so happy. But we'll cover this one first really quickly. What a nice leaf to cover. This here is Philodendron Snowdrift. And yay, yeah, I should have it climbing and I don't. Um, it's just kind of doing what it's doing. But this is Philodendron Snowdrift. Basically think Philodendron Florida Ghost, but this leaf shape. So you get leaves coming in like a really minty cream color, depending on light and heat and what have you. Um, and they can get speckled and then they basically fade down. Like this is an older leaf here that you can see. There's the green, that's where it was lighter colored and that's how it works. So not for everyone if you don't care about that kind of thing, but I find it quite beautiful. It's one of my favorites. This guy though, honestly, this guy, I'm so in love with this guy. Um, back there, 
there is old leaves. This is Philodendron McDowell, by the way, Dean McDowell. It is a hybrid of Philodendron Gloriosum and, oh my goodness, Philodendron Pastazanum, I think. My memory's terrible today, honestly. So that's him. Those are the old leaves he was shipped with. And since he's been with me, he's just gone from strength to strength. Like that's, which one's the leaf before that? This leaf here is the leaf prior to the one I'm about to show you. Look at the dimension. And then this new one's just gone boom. It's starting to hit maturity now a little bit more and it's just looking gorgeous. Um, that's the back of the leaf there. Sorry, it doesn't focus. And that's it in the pot growing quite well. Although the aerials are drying out on this one and they're not on others. So I need to kind of investigate that. But he lives there and he's very happy. So I don't really want to move him, to be honest. He's doing great. Over here, we have the beautiful Stromanthi Trio Star. So if you don't know what this plant is, I do this every time. I'm sorry if you're a regular viewer. But if you don't know what this plant is, let me tell you now you need it. Um, the care isn't fantastic on them. They're not the easiest plant in the world. But I think if you're attentive to your house plants and you've kept a few plants, then you'll be okay. So basically, this plant has variegation that can look quite pinky in tone. Why does it look pinky in tone, you ask? Because this is cream variegation. However, if I turn this over, hell yeah. So essentially, all of the underleaves of this plant look hot pink. This is how they look. They are so gorgeous. Um, I could do a whole video on these plants, just basically convincing you to buy them because they're beautiful. Um, they're part of the prayer plant family. Which if you don't know what that means, essentially their leaves move a lot during the day. They go up and down quite a lot. Like a lot. Like it's noticeable. You can hear it sometimes. It's, it's quite freaky. Um, but they're just one of the nicest plants because they look so gorgeous. And who doesn't like this kind of color on a house plant? They can grow bushy and they can grow, this is a really good example, they can grow these like elbow joints here and you can either keep them growing taller because they do get taller but they kind of grow in like sh like a shelf formation. Um, or you can just snip them off and keep them as a bush. I would prefer to snip it off personally, but it's had a couple of issues. I don't know if it's sun or underwatering or feeding because I don't usually get crispy tips, but we're getting some, some crisp here. I don't know, but it's healthy enough. Honestly, it's healthy enough. If I had this at home and I saw it every day, then it would look beautiful, but obviously it's taken a bit of a knock, but it's nice. It's a beautiful plant and I, I really recommend them. And for scale, I just touch this little leaf here just so you can see how big the plant is. This is a big pot. You feel me? That's a big plant. It's this basically the only place that thing can live because it's so big. Um, so that's beautiful. Uh, what I think you might really want to know about, though, is this guy. Uh, this guy is ridiculous. He needs chopped. This is Philodendron Gloriosum, and it's kind of no joke how big he is. If I just show you this, I should have chopped this guy ages ago, right, before anyone has a go at me in the comments, because you, you can shout at me, to be honest. I should have cut this ages ago, but check it out. <laughs> This is where we're at with it. That's how it works. That is ridiculous. I've literally, this is how bad it is. I've had to balance it on a bucket, a pot on a bucket to give it the height so that basically the leaves could come over the couch. It's just, it's not funny. If you want to know how big he is, I just touch him. There, there's my hand, there's the leaf. Just so you know, he's, he's not small. He's no joke. Look at this, look at this. I can grab that, it's huge. Yeah, he needs cut. He seriously needs cut, but I, oh my gosh, I haven't had the time. I really haven't had the time. It's getting a bit silly now. He's going to start growing along the floor. And honestly, who knows where he's even going to end up. So I need to do something about him, essentially. So underneath that, the last plant I think I have to show you today is this guy here. Hopefully my camera brightens up a little bit while I sit down. This is so gorgeous, though. I can't even tell you. This here is what is known as an asparagus fern. They're super soft and pretty. They're one of my favorites. Sorry, I think that's a... Is it a goose? What even is that? Can you hear that? I hope it stops. Um, anyway, this is a really, really pretty fern and it's just got bigger and bigger and bigger and it grows kind of underneath this goriosum and let me tell you, it loves its life. Look how big it is. It's so gorgeous. Look at this. I've got blooms all over my floor that are actually from that higher up there that will not stop blooming. Um, so if you see random bits on the floor, that's what it is. Oh, all over here, look. All these blooms just keep dropping off and I keep trying to get rid of them and by the time I come back, there's more dead blooms. It's ridiculous. But yeah, he's just looking beautiful, isn't he? He's such a big boy as well. He's one of my favorites. I love him so much. He's getting quite large though. That's, 
that's not a small fern. It's getting a bit awesome. I love him. I bought him and he was obviously a lot smaller than that, actually. He was tiny, now that I think about it. I'd have to watch the video when I first got him because I, I don't think he was anywhere near that size. He's done really well. So with that, if I just move back. So this is what my studio looks like. Now there are plants above me. But as I mentioned before, they are higher and they are not going to be the easiest to show you given just the status of everything with me using this camera. But if I just show you some of them and what they're doing uh, right here, because I'm stood next to this, and then there's some in the corner there, and then there's one up there, and then there is some, a beautiful one over there that's growing quite nicely. I've had to loop it around itself. This one here that I'm very proud of because I got its flower. Show that flower again because it's out. Um, I have a few that are flowering, by the way. There's a beautiful one in the corner that's flowering all the time. I have a nice one there. And then I have one there. Um, I have more higher than that. They're just not up here in hanging pots. But I will show you them on another video because I think it'd be cool to do a dedicated higher video because not everyone cares about higher. I, I appreciate that. So. so that's it. Essentially, that is an update on my studio and the things that are growing in here. As you can see, they've, they've really settled in, I think. They, they're looking really good and they're really filling up the space. Obviously, that that palm looks a bit odd because I've rotated it and it hasn't, it hasn't found its way yet and it needs a water. But that is generally it. That is my studio tour. So with that, thank you very much for watching this video. I realize how delayed this has been. It has not been funny. Um, it's been one thing after another. I hope this footage is okay and I hope it's not shaky as hell. So if you like what you see, please feel free to hit that subscribe button for more videos such as this one. Check out my channel. I have a lot. Um, if you'd like to see any videos on the rest of the shop here or what it looks like or the living wall, I have a bunch of videos on that. So please feel free to subscribe for more content. Please like this video if you enjoyed it because it allows more people to see it. And I think I will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, see you later. Bye. <laughs>